Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice For All. Last we left off... <laughs> I think the best way to explain that one is... Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. That is really the best way I can put it. Oh god. So... We're just going to go ahead and present the evidence. Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Akro's brother. And that is extremely true. She may not have meant it, but what Regina did caused the lion to bite Bat. And the proof is right here on the scarf. Small quantity of pepper. And that's why in the last episode, when I was about to present the pepper bottle, I realized what happened. She put Pepper on Bat's scarf, hoping to make him sneeze. Instead, the lion sneezed. That's why everyone said he was smiling. A lion, animals don't smile. I have a dog. I do. And he sneezes quite a bit every now and then. He looks like he's smiling when he sneezes. Or, j at the moment before he sneezes, it looks like he's smiling. I can't believe I didn't see it when they said smiling. But then again, there was no reason to believe it was a sneeze. The lion had his mouth open. And when it sneezed, it naturally closed its mouth. And it went down hard. That, but that's just a scarf, Mr. Wright. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Bat? R Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. This is something more than just blood on this... There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. 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 Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? No one is getting the connection. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job at fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um, Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge doesn't get it. No one gets it. Not yet. Oh, she, I think she just got it. M Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wasn't it that, that the lion seemed to be smiling? And Nacro gets it now. Smiling? The lion was smiling. Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lions smile. I've never heard of them smiling. However... Lions sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. W w what? Y you fool! Exactly. You've got to be kidding me! What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I... object! For, for objection's sake! Mr. Phoenix Wright, you... With this theory, do you actually believe it? You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? 
course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper. And... And that's when Bat lost consciousness. Akru nearly lost his brother due to this accident. Or this joke, as you so kindly put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge. Against Regina. You... You foolish idiot! <laughs> it... It almost does seem like a terrible joke. Doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. What? To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Macro. You don't mean. You can't mean. Witness! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright. Unfortunately... Your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? <laughs> the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. W what would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I dropped Max's bust on top of the ringmaster, where is the evidence to prove that claim? Uh, hmm. you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon, the bus that the defendant claims was used, if that were to be found in Akro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bus is missing. Bust. Nick, you've got to do something. Last step. If I get this one right, then the case is, is won. That's true. The bust is missing. Acro must still have the bust. I mean, this isn't something he can just simply throw away because he can't leave his room. So it must still be with him. We need to search his room. I'm pretty sure Francisco Von Karma already did it, but I want to search that room again. If that is the case. The defense requests to search the room of the witness, Ken Dingling. Huh. What is it now? It looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. You mean? I thought so. A von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. W well, what did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed this search by complete surprise. And we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. The search was done in complete surprise. End of story. J just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. Hahaha. <laughs> It looks like you lacked the final nail to put into my proverbial coffin, if you will. But, but, but what about the scarf? What about the note? What about the Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. <laughs> Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. Bust. Where is it now? Where is the bus right now? Oh, that is the good question. And there's something that von Francisca von Karma said that, that concerns me. The search was done by complete surprise. I am convinced that Max has the bus, had the bus with him in his room. 
Naturally, he had no way to dispose of it because he can't leave the room. And he can't simply tell someone, Here, take this bus and replace it. That would seem very strange and weird. <clears throat> strange and weird. Not to mention it's immediately after the crime, so it's like, eh? So that said, where could Ken... What Ken? Where could... A well, his name is Ken, but whatever. Where could Acro have hidden the bus? It was done by complete surprise, so we had no time to even think of a hiding place. There must be a place he could have hidden it. You're Phoenix right! You know where that bust is! I'm sure you do! <gasps> I think I know where it is! I think I know where it is! The search was done by complete surprise. He had no time to prepare an ample, a good hiding place. No time at all. So he had to improvise. And I think I know how he improvised hiding the bust. I think I do. Well, it seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter arguments looks to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Wait! <clears throat> Wait! Where's Max's bus? The defense needs time to present his lace. I, I mean, in case. I'm sorry. I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? what? Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aid, isn't she? D do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Uh, are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, wait. You can't be serious. You can't just throw me under the bus like that, M Maya. Well... Acrobats always have their lives in the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step here. It's sink or swim. The only way through is forward. The murder weapon. There is Max's bust now. It has to be on his person. Remember, Acro is in a wheelchair. It's quite possible he's hit it on his person. Now, I don't know how someone could possibly miss a big bronze object on a wheelchair, but... If everyone managed to miss it, then that means Acro has somehow hidden it on his wheelchair, on his person, somehow. It's with us in this courtroom. It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. At the witness stand. More precisely... On Acro's wheelchair. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this. But do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well. You are a big guy. And you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to, say, hide a bust under there. Under his blanket. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, 
Your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact the bust is under there. It's so commonplace for paraplegics to have a blanket over their legs. They can't feel anything, so it's easy for the legs to get cold. So a blanket is there to keep the legs warm. He's hidden it this entire time on his person. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. It proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she found a murder weapon in your room, it'd have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it. In the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you? You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them. Miss Francisca von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away in it with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But bust. Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Moncarma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of the court, hiding the murder weapon. <laughs> There's no way I can escape that. So, you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I, I can't believe it. Me! To make a mistake. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? Oh, if only I hadn't done that. It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted, all he wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered up the scarf of pepper. I know she didn't mean anything bad to happen. I know this. She... He just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But... Just couldn't forgive her. No matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't stand it. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. Oh, how dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No. No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing more but a murderer. That's who I am. First, I thought I'd kill myself, but and then I pondered giving myself up. But I just 
couldn't up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin all this on Max. Max. I'm so, so sorry for all this. I just... I, I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I... I'm an idiot! I can't believe it! You beat me! Again! I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. This trial was just one unfortunate event after the other, and it just spiraled out of control. The court is adjourned. It spiraled out of control to the point where Agro felt the need to murder Regina. And it became so out of control that he ended up murdering the wrong person. Have you ever heard of... And this is for real. Have you ever heard of the saying that revenge is bittersweet? Or, or even that the idea that Revenge would lead you to nowhere. Yes, you might get your revenge, but what are you left feeling? If you succeeded, then you're left with an empty feeling because you were fueled by this need for revenge. But if you missed and ended up killing an innocent person, someone that you never intended to be in the crosshairs at any point in time, what feeling does that leave you? As it is with Acro, he, he thought about killing himself. He thought about turning himself in. He just killed the one person he would never want to kill in his entire life. All by mistake. This trial feels like it's saying that, yes, you can have your want for revenge. Yes, you can choose to act on it. And yes, you may or may not be successful. But at the end of the day, what does it leave you with? If you were successful, it leaves you feeling empty. Yes, I did it. I don't feel bad about it. But now what? If you did it to the wrong, if you killed the wrong person by mistake, now you're left with such regret. And if you were in Acro's shoes, how could you even... And this is what I think of him as a strong character in this case, that he actually kept going. And I think I know the reason why he kept going. Why he didn't want to just kill himself or turn himself in. There's something that's keeping him from doing that. And I think it's because of his brother Bat. He's holding on to everything, every fiber in his being that Bat will wake up. Even though the medical experts are saying he will never wake up. This, this, this case really makes you think. The, the, the end result of this case really makes you think. <laughs> Fabulous! Oh, but to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Necro, the ringmaster, Regina, and, and Bat? Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? Well, that's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. <laughs> Many congrats! But only at max a million of them. Thank you. Oh, what's the with the vibe in this room, huh? Well, we're just thinking about acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie pie. <laughs> and Acro. They're never coming back. Now, now everyone's gonna split up. R Regina. <laughs> Mr. Wright, <laughs> tell me something, please. W what do you want to know, Regina? 
I could have said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. I just couldn't. Does that mean that that Akros gonna try and get his revenge on me? I don't think so. No, I truly don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are, are you sure? <laughs> You're really sure? Can I believe that? Yep. Akro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. Well, if that's true, then then I want to see some evidence. I want to know you're not just making up that stuff about Akro not wanting revenge. No. He said he can't just up and leave yet. Because of his brother. Because he killed a ringmaster, he no longer wants revenge. Because he... he just He's just lost it. I think at this point he's also lost his will to live. But the only thing that's keeping him going is his brother. Akro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Uh, that? That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I... I, I never knew. But now that Akro's been caught... Uh-huh. Uh, I know. What? Uh, I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. But until he opens his eyes, and and then until he can meet Akro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm, I'm sorry, Akro. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. W what is it, Moo? Sorry, I've been doing all these voices that I had to urge to burp. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> we, we really put you through a lot today, didn't... Oh, we really put you through a lot today, didn't we, buddy? I'm so sorry about what happened. So, whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. If I understand, what a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. Well, what's going to happen to the circus now? Ah, uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Hmm? Well, even though he's not here anymore, everyone's sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. Uh, and what is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. D don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Hey, I can't wait. Well, then I guess that changes things. Huh? Well, there's only one thing the best circus in the world ever see. Ew. There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusion. Which means, this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max, let's walk together and make, and make our circus super fabulous! What do you say, big guy? I, I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you, Max. Um... Oh, um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I, I don't know. M maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking? <clears throat> what are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh huh. We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. But Mo, Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Batty. M Max, Nick. It seems like everyone's going to turn... Everything's going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has, to, has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous thing. It'll take us a while to get ready, but... I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. 
<laughs> oh, that sucked too. I hope I don't have to do that fake laugh ever again. Oh. I see. What made the case? Well, yesterday's surprise, right? It really paid off just like you said it would, sir. Oh, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. I have a feeling I know who's talking. If Akro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Akro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. I knew it. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. He's not dead. Still alive. He's still alive. I think when he said Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chose death, I think it was just to say Prosecutor chose death. Miles Edgeworth is still alive. He's still living. I think he disappeared. You know, this is my theory. He disappeared to do some soul searching. Quite honestly, I think that's what he did. And the fact that he said that he's going to go meet with the chief prosecutor to talk about Akro's case, I think it's showing that he has a heart and he... Now, that's just a supposition, but he might be planning to plead with the chief prosecutor to be more lenient with Akro, considering the circumstances surrounding the case. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We are done with this episode. We are done with this case. And we are done with everything. Oh, boy. I... I, I, I completely blitzed through this trial <laughs> in one night. I've been talking nonstop for three hours. <laughs> Doing all these voices and all this. And it's like, I'm done. I'm going to rest for a couple days. Because now I have at least four videos to, to post up. So I'm going to rest, edit, do all that wonderful crap. I will see you all in the next episode. Which will be, farewell, my turnabout. And for that said, it's my turn to say, farewell.